war has started. And we are hopelessly outgunned. Director Fury, I think it's time. Congratulations on the film. Thank you. Tell me about that first day when you all assembled. It must have been pretty special, right? Yep. It was intimidating it and was fun. It was an exciting walking on set, seeing all these great actors, but also these great characters and superheroes. I've grown up watching these actors my entire life. Um, you know, they, these actors were making films long before I decided to be an actor, so it was a great, great privilege. I'm still pinching myself, quite frankly. Especially... I'm pinching you too. Here goes. Yeah. Woo! My first day, I could barely get a line out without flubbing. It was the same. Yeah, I mean, all those guys I've watched and admired and wanted to work with, and it was like, that was the most nerve-wracking I'd felt. I still get tongue-tied in front of Robert and in front of Clark. I just, <laughs> uh, you know, when the cameras aren't rolling, I don't, I... I don't know how to talk to him because he's so <laughs> handsome. Now, what's Loki up to in this one? What's his beef? His beef is still similar to the first one. He has no kingdom. He, he was cast out from his own kingdom and he's come down to planet Earth to refashion it as his own personal kingdom, which he believes is his due. Thor feels an incredible amount of responsibility for what's going on because Loki's sort of um, motives are, are rooted in his, his resentment for Thor and his situation. So. You know, it's all, yeah, it, it becomes a, you know, quite a personal approach to it. We worked really hard to uh, infuse this Hulk with uh, a sense of uh, real humanistic qualities and um, to have really see the continuation of Banner inside the Hulk. We find him in uh, Calcutta, and uh, Fury comes and he sends Black Widow to coax him uh, back to uh, S.H.I.E.L.D. How much fun was it playing Maria? It was really cool. It was cool to, to play a character who um, had the right to hold a have a weapon. <laughs> Unlike somebody, they, we, we use the gun sometimes on How I Met Your Mother, but it's almost in a, in a, in a joke sense. So it was really cool to play somebody who it was a weapon to kill when need be. You know, she stands up for herself against Samuel L. Jackson, which, yes. uh, which must be nice as well to have such a sort of strong character. Absolutely, and it was great to, to do those scenes with Sam and to have those moments and um, and, and not only to be um, to be challenged by him, to, but to be, you know, to hold that authority. I have an army. We have a Hulk. Oh, I thought the Beast had wandered off. You're missing the point. There's no throne. There is no version of this where you come out on top. How much do you enjoy sort of seeing your individual film being part of this wider universe now? Uh, it's great, you know, the, the Thor had to work in order for, you know, and Iron Man had to work and then Captain America for each of them, you know, for all this to sort of come together. And so it was nice to have arrived at the point where we were on the right track and, and um, you know, to share the workload amongst these guys was fantastic. Because I had the chance to build the foundations, to build the foundations of his emotional um, wiring, I can kind of, jump off the diving board a bit more in this one. As a fanboy myself, I, I, I knew this was possibly heading toward the Avengers, and uh, to find that Agent Coulson is, is very much put very prominently into the mix of assembling the Avengers was one of the great days of my geek life. Yeah.